it's almost 12 o'clock and these lot are just quickly eating a little bit more vegetarian cat came to ask me to just go and fetch some of his blocks for him and he's got it and he's eating and he is happy but then they all started showing up and what do you do well when you first feed the little kittens they milk and then you know, they don't want to go to sleep but you just have to let them go to sleep and then well these lot are looking at you like they they haven't eaten for the whole day and then vegetarian cat picked up a fight with the father cat just look at that the hair i actually picked up some of the hair there it is and i didn't know who it belonged to at first but yeah then i found it and the fight hope happened right over here there's still some hair over there so i've told the vegetarian cat that he should just run in my direction whenever anybody or anything wants to bully him and i'll sort him out and uh, he believes me vegetarian cat they won't be doing it for more than a second believe me <laughs> well guys gonna go to sleep end of the day the tigers are still walking around but i'm not gonna go there because then they're gonna want me to give them something and i have to go to sleep now so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that and like always have a great day okay so he's first today and yeah they have chewed that front part to crisps they it's leaking everywhere i did buy a new bottle these ones are still climbing up look at that they are already moving around here everywhere okay and he needs to finish because that one just went right to the top i didn't think they were going to be able to do that already but look at this they are very capable of climbing now and he comes down and I can't help him right now because I've got this little one drinking, but I think he is doing well. Well, he's doing it, he's going up and down a few times, so I think he's done it before. Well, here's the next one. He's almost done as well. They are still climbing. Yeah, taking care of a couple of kittens like this is more than you would think, especially if there's five. But, yeah, I'll get them all fed within the next few, well, in five minutes, it's done. So it doesn't take that long. But I think the mother would have done better. I'm actually thinking of taking all of these, putting them in a the car, in the little container, taking them to go see their mother. I think I might just do that today. Okay, he's done as well. Next. Okay, here's the next one. And he drinks differently to the others. He wants to hold on with his little foot and then he just sucks it all up and he's quick. You have to watch his little stomach because it's filling up so quick and you don't want to overfeed them. But yeah, then we've got two left. <laughs> that one and that one. So he's going to probably finish this bottle and then I'm going to have to quickly go refill. So one of them is going to scream for another well i'm going to do it in less than a minute <laughs> but in any case yeah i think i should stop him right there because i think that is enough right yeah and he doesn't want to let go he wants to keep on going okay one more sip Okay, that was 10 sips. Right, that's enough. And he's not letting go. I have to pull it out and I've got it out. Right. Yeah, let me put him back and get the next one. Okay, so here's the next one. And he is the vicious little eater. And he's got me there. Look at that. He is not letting go. It is feed me or die. <laughs> 
and then it will be the last little one. It is beautiful and he's the smallest of the lot, but I feed him twice. But I think I'm going to have to go make him a new bottle because this one has just finished it. Can you believe it? Okay, I think it's empty. Let me just squeeze it. Oh, no, there's still a little bit coming out in the front. He is taking it down. Look at that little face. Okay, and it's done. Now, I'll just go get him some more and then they're all done. Okay, there's still a little bit in the bottle. I'm going to give it to him first so he doesn't need to wait without anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll quickly go and get him a bit more. That's it, it's empty. I'm going to take him with me to go and make it. Okay, and he's finishing up. He's almost done with it. I just fold it up again. Just takes a few seconds. And they are still climbing up and down, going crazy. But that is just for attention now. They want to play or they want out. I think I should let them out a little bit. Just have to make sure that I can control them. And that they are able to walk around safely. Well, he's done. And let me put him back as well. I'll quickly feed one or two of them. Just a little sip since there's a bit left. And uh, then they're all fed. But believe me, they are a bit much to handle. But they're growing. They're getting bigger and bigger all the time. Just They're just climbing as well. Look at that. They are climbing like... Oh, there he goes down. So I'm going to have to do something. There, another one goes down. Right, let me stop him. Bobby is just relaxing right there underneath that bush. He's a huge cat. We've had him for a long time. He's probably about 10 years old. And he is absolutely amazing. Enzo <laughs> <Okay. laughs> He's just going for a quick walk. But I have to do pool maintenance. It's one of those things, if you want to have a pool that's blue, you got to do maintenance all the time. And Enzo is just walking around and he's screaming again so I can come and sit with him. But he doesn't realize that I'm busy. I have to do things. But he doesn't care. He wants me to just leave everything and spend time with him. But at least I am right next to him all the time. It's not like I have to walk real far. Where's all the cats? Oh, there's little computer cat. There she goes. I can hear the little ones. They are. If they hear me, they scream because they want me to feed them more. And I'm going to feed them again within the next hour. Enzo going for a quick walk. Diego just still doing what Diego does best. He's a champion sleeper. I guess he's a very good dreamer. And yeah, he's just enjoying every minute. But Enzo, totally different. He's the walker. He likes to keep fit. He likes to go for a nice walk through his enclosure. <laughs> Enzo! <laughs> yeah, let me start getting this done. And we are almost done here. We are just finishing everything off. But it's looking great. And at last, this place will be finished. <laughs> and Enzo can't wait to see what it's going to look like when it's all done. <laughs> Friendliest cat in the world. She is just hanging out here on the outside. And just being absolutely friendly. <laughs> yeah, she's getting big. She's actually 
if you look at her like this, she's getting huge. She used to be so tiny. And now she is growing up. She is becoming bigger and bigger every single day. And then look at that face, absolutely gorgeous. The perfect cat. Okay, so this is a very fine food. It's really soft. And uh, yeah, there they're starting to hear me. They're gonna start screaming, going crazy. And then I'm gonna feed them. So let me just show you guys these little ones. Look at that. Here they come already. And I'm gonna have to get ready to feed them. Let me just close up here quickly. <laughs> they are so quick. They are really quick. Okay. Let me get this done. Because I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in this little lid. Because I don't want something that's too deep. They will not be able to get to it. I'm just gonna take that much. And now to see if they are going to be able to eat already. Let's do that. I'm going to just... You have to be so quick with them. They... <laughs> now they're not going to see it. So they... I'm going to have to line them up. Right there. <laughs> well, they're eating it, but with their feet. <laughs> no, let me just close up here <laughs> and we'll see they put their little feet in here so let's just see that I've just put it in there it's almost like feeding tigers you have to get in and get out immediately okay this little one is gonna go for it yep he is eating now that's gonna make my life much easier the others we'll see how they yeah he's eating Great stuff. Now, just to see if those other ones are going to do the same. They calm. They should. I'm going to just watch that little one over there. He's going to do it. Yep, there he goes. He is eating as well. Right. Two of them eating already. And just look at that. He's going to go there as well. Let's give him a second. Little one is looking at this. Just going to hold his nose to it so he gets the idea. Maybe just put a little on his mouth. Okay, now I have to use my phone again to keep them in. Let me just put this deeper in here. They are climbing. <laughs> ah, one of them. Ah, okay, now let me close up here again. <laughs> no, I made a mistake. It's not like feeding tigers. It's worse. It's much more difficult. Feeding tigers are easy. You throw it over the wall, they eat it. Or over the fence. With kittens, you try and put them in there. They trick you into making you believe that they don't know where it is. And then when you open up, they come running outside. <laughs> well, guys, let me just go line them up. And now we'll see how they eat, but at least they are. There's a little one back in there. He is eating. Perfectly. Let me just zoom in there. That's it. So we'll get them all sorted out. But for that, I'm going to have to put the camera down. So let me line them up quickly. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you guys updated on these little ones. And then when you're done, it is better to just scoop it all out and put it in a little container that can be sealed so that these little ones can have it a little later. I'm going to leave them for a few seconds just to watch them. That one is still eating it with his feet, but at least he's got some in his mouth as well. So look at that little face. He is 
full of cat food. And um, they are slowly, I just think they, they're just a little more to the play side and they want to spend time with me. It's not that much about the food. It's more about they want to hang out. But they just need to... Oh, well, he just perfectly rinsed his feet right there. He knows exactly what the water is for. And uh, <laughs> now these little ones are a lot of work. But I have to say I enjoy it. They are amazing. And, uh, but they just have to start eating by themselves now. But they will. I see it happening every minute. It is better. And then they're going to grow like you won't believe. Well, just to keep the control, those little ones over there, they are still eating all the way. And this little one, I'm just feeding him a little bit like this. Just to make sure they know what food is. Because I don't think they really know yet, but slowly they will be learning about it. And they're getting it right. So, it's happening. It's a little bit of a mess but it is getting done they are eating and uh, they just learned how to eat like two minutes ago so they are really doing it getting it done just get that little one to just want to make sure that all of them are eating in fact know that the food is there to be eaten. Look at that. Okay, this little one hasn't eaten yet. Let me just give him some there. Yeah, they are all eating now. Those two are still eating with their feet, but okay, this one thinks that the higher he climbs, I think this is a way to teach them not to climb. I'm not going to feed them when they are not on the ground or when they are standing up. I don't think then I should feed them. I think I should only feed them while they are standing below. But through the fence, that works. And it works because if we just get him down, I'm not going to feed him up here. Because if I feed him up there now, he's going to keep on climbing up. And that little one, he's had enough. That one, I think I should maybe take that one away from the food because I don't think he's going to stop. So not only do you have to make sure they all get food, you have to make sure they don't get too much. Let me just give him this uh, now. And if he gets you, he's going to bite really hard because those teeth are sharp as you can imagine. Okay, now they're eating nice. But I think I first have to take that little one away. He is eating Maybe a little bit too much. Let me quickly take him out. Yeah, he is full. He needs to stop eating now. <laughs> uh, yeah, they all come again. Oh no, I'm going to have to do something. How am I going to... I'm going to take him out and I'm going to close these up while I'm holding them back with my phone. That's the only way to do it. You just now you can't close it because they put their feet right there. <laughs> this one is right here. yeah, you guessed it. I've got my hands full with these little kittens, but look at that. <laughs> they are amazing. And he's already sounding happy. <laughs> Okay, you guys eat first and I'll put your little friend back a little later when you're done eating. Yeah, you're not going to be able to just put down food and leave it in there. They will definitely eat it all. <laughs> and he is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at this. Well, let me get going. I've got some other things to do as well. And they will... Yeah, now they're also getting a chance to eat. This is working out better already. Okay, so I'm cleaning this cage out perfectly. And this little one is just playing. He's the first one to actually show that he is playing. He's the smallest one. 
but he was just rolling that little ball around there. He'll get it again in a second. These ones are still just, when I open up, they are screaming and going crazy. But he is absolutely quiet. And he's playing. There he sees it again. <laughs> just look at that. He is amazing. The others, they're still a little... Look at him, he just plays along. His little nails are just hooking everywhere. But, yeah, he is absolutely, just look at that. He keeps on playing all the time. <laughs> yeah, let me finish cleaning this thing because they ate right here and you have to just make sure it stays clean and uh, yeah they are going to love this cage when they are a little bit more capable and they know exactly how to use it. It's going to be amazing. Okay, I've put them back in the box for now so I can just clean this whole cage out. And yeah, now it's the first time that I really get an opportunity to actually clean it. Because they don't let you. They are right there, right on you all the time. So watching me but I'm cleaning this place up now and it's the first time that I can really get it done so they're gonna have to just take it a little easy over there they are quite a handful this little one is trying to climb out I'm gonna put him back <clears throat> so you have to know what you're getting into they are absolutely <laughs> well, what, what can you say? They don't take no for an answer. They just keep on coming out. Let me just put them back again. Well, at least I've had five minutes of peace now. And I can just clean this place up. <laughs> Here he is back again. Oh, six minutes probably now. But that's enough. You don't need a lot of time. You just need sometime at least all right now putting in a new blanket for them and then everything will be perfect let me just put him back again yeah he is trying to get out of here and he's holding on he is strong right let me just step it up one notch more just like that making it a little more difficult for them to get out of there for now Putting in the blanket and then I can let them out again. Okay, see you guys in a few minutes. Yeah, they are playing, running around, doing so well. Wait till they realize that they are able to climb up here, out this one. I'm just busy cleaning this side now. Still a bit dusty over there. They are playing. Look at that, they are playing so nicely and I will be closing up here because I don't know if they might be able to get out of there quickly but look at that, <laughs> immediately here they come, those two are, oh he's playing with the toys already, they are learning so quick, I mean look at that, that one is already eating the pellets with his feet, he knows how to do it exactly, but yeah, let me close up here. <laughs> they are having fun, but it's maybe too much fun. Just look at that. <laughs> For open door, I have to close this door. They are safe inside here. Excellent. I think I, I didn't realize that this cage was going to be this amazing when I bought it. I didn't know that. Oh. How else do you keep five kittens? I don't know how I would have done this if I didn't have this. I probably would have just 
put something in a corner and yeah this, well this makes it much easier they are amazing can't wait for them to be stable <laughs> i've just carried zach up upstairs here he's the first dog to be up here and uh, it's just cats that hang out around here but yeah i'm not gonna make it a habit this is actually a dog free zone so yeah he is the first dog to just look over everything around here and he's amazed he didn't even know this place existed they just see me disappearing up and then they don't know where i've gone but yeah just let him walk through here quickly and uh, then i'm taking him back but yeah this is a cat place. <laughs> you can see forever from up here. He just keeps on going. I just want to keep an eye on him because he's not going to lift his leg. I'm not letting him do that up here. No dog has ever lifted their leg up here. And it's not going to start today, so let me pick him up, show him around again, and take him down. And then bring his little brother Sachis down. He will also come and check it out. Now there he's lifted his leg. Can you believe it? Okay, let me take him down. That's it. Okay, and I brought Sachis up as well. He's also checking it out. They didn't know this place existed. How can it be hidden from them all this time? Look how cautious he is. He's just checking it out. Okay, he wants to sit here with me. <laughs> He's stunned. Look, these dogs are totally amazed. <laughs> so, I'm going to take him down as well. They're heavy. These dogs are heavier than you think. They're solid. This is a solid dog. <laughs> Sachis. Well, let me take him down. I don't want him to know too much. Okay, so I have a cupcake here, and the Dwins is reaching out. He wants to just take a little piece. That's it. Okay, take it, the Dwins. The dogs are on it. Okay, that's it. Ah, oh, they're taking the best part. That's it. No, this is mine. This is mine. Okay, the Dwins, take a little piece. Just a little piece. Okay, that's it. Right, this is mine now. Yeah, when they look at you like that, there is no way you can say no. You have to just let them also take a little bit. But in any case, let me get out of here because these dogs are getting too close to my cupcake. And I'm not going to let them eat it. I'll get them some cookies and bring it to them a bit later. Billy, okay Billy, just take a small piece. Ah, it's taking almost the whole thing. Okay, but now I'm leaving. That's it. At least I've got a little bit of a cupcake left here. <laughs> cutest cat in the world and she is also asking the question why is the tiger's water in the pool so green again okay well let me tell you guys what happened it rained and the water that the rain water does affect it quite a lot so how long did it last well, he didn't make 20 days. I'd say about 19 days. And I didn't treat it as much as before. But I didn't want to. And I didn't put in that much. Because I knew if it starts to rain, I'm going to have to replace it earlier. And I think we're going to replace it today. So, yeah. Last time it lasted about 50 days. I think I said 50 or 51 days. And 
this time only 20. Why? It's the sun, it's summer, it's the temperature, it's the rain, and I didn't treat it that much. So there's a lot of things that you can do to just get it to last longer. It's a little bird just eating something over there. I don't know what that could be. It looks like bread rolls of some sort but that should not be in there i will go check it out and they are just hanging out here friendliest cat in the world and grandma cat right here they have taken this part of the house for themselves and they don't move out of here they stay here all the time and they love it okay so the front part of my house well this is the house on the other side is this color but we're fixing up the walls and stuff and i've just decided i'm gonna paint it black just look at that i think it looks great so we will be that was just a quick test that i did and we will yeah, ooh, paint it black see what it looks like Okay, and the sun has gone down already, so there's no way I'm going to be able to show you a very nice sunset tonight. Because there's no clouds up here for the sun to shine through. But there's something that I want to say. People who have a lot of animals, they tend to pick up problems sometimes with those animals. And, um, yeah... With humans, you've got something to help you. Paperwork. Now, they say that paperwork is the one thing that sets us apart from the animals. But what has got the same effect as paperwork? Now, if you think about it, the only thing paperwork really does to humans is they con it controls them. It brings fear into them but when push comes to shove paperwork is the least of your worry now with animals talking is basically got the same well it's the same thing as paperwork for humans now what I'm trying to say there is if you are going to talk to an animal when it is trying to attack you, you're not going to have much luck if, in fact, he really wants to hurt you. So, don't waste your breath. Because when it becomes serious, let's say that dog over there, there's a dog that's running out in the street. Let's say you are walking over there and he comes towards you. Don't talk to him. It's not going to help. Then you are going to have to pack a little more weight behind whatever you are planning to do. You are going to have to show him that you are in fact able to protect yourself. That will stop him right there. So always keep that in mind if you've got an animal that takes you on he wants to rule you he wants to show you that he will hurt you you're not going to walk in there and talk him out of it don't even try you don't say a word where is Enzo and Diego I don't even see them over here you don't say a word you use body language you can even shout, but the only thing you're doing when you are talking is you are either saying sorry, or you are explaining, or you are trying to convince him with paperwork to an animal not to kill you, for instance, if I can take it so far. It's not going to work then you need to bring out the big guns you have to show him that he is not allowed to hurt you 
Well, guys, think about it. Tell me what you think. I've had quite a few pets. I've seen dangerous animals. And I've seen what works and what works not. And, yeah, at the end, there is no talking. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Well, the tigers are basically attending the church service. They're holding a church service right here across the road from me in the field. You can hear them singing over there. And the tigers are lying here listening to it. I was wondering how they were going to react to it. I didn't think they would sit right here and listen to it but that's what they do Enzo is over there cats are here there's Enzo and uh, they're not singing along because I don't think they know the words but they are listening to it definitely Let's go see Diego again. Here he is. Diego? Sing a song, Buddha. That means, uh, are you singing along? He says, no, he does not know the words. Okay. <laughs> Moon is out tonight. full moon so it's quite light here it's not that dark in any case I've got to go feed the little kittens again let me get to that